while 700 kilometers above Earth, history unfolded in space. A tech billionaire became the first civilian to take a walk outside a capsule, and he did it wearing a brand new, more modern spacesuit. Space buff, CTV's Paul Hollingsworth is here, and Paul, tell us more about why this is so significant. Well, Sandy, it's easy to get excited on a day like this. A small crew, four people, took a giant step forward for space exploration. Just before 7 o'clock Eastern Time this morning, the SpaceX Dragon capsule popped open. Tech billionaire Jared Isaacman then ventured outside. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here... Isaacman became the first non-professional astronaut to complete a spacewalk mission. Seems to be about the same, top of the mobility aid. He was followed by SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis. Retired Canadian astronaut Colonel Chris Hadfield recalls his own experience walking in space. Imagine if you're in a small, really dark, cramped room and you open this heavy door on one end and then as you pull yourself through the door, you emerge out into the universe. This mission is a test for these new EVA spacesuits. According to SpaceX, these lightweight suits are an overall improvement from previous suits with display capabilities in the helmet. CTV science and technology expert Dan Riskin says these spacesuits are critical to the mission. The added piece that they're trying to make them look cool and they're trying to make them lightweight and they're trying to make them flexible, um, that's a big ask for a technology that has so many life-saving roles. And so testing those spacesuits is arguably uh, an even bigger piece of this than the spaceship itself. In the big picture, Dan Riskin says his main takeaway from this five-day mission is this. We are all now one step closer to a vacation on the moon or somewhere in space if we can afford the price tag. Sandy. Okay. Paul, thank you.